right, I'm going to do a front cross carry with a um, woven wrap with a newborn. This wrap is a size 7 Red Earth Glasto Festival. It's 100% cotton, medium weight wrap. So first of all, I'm going to find the middle of my wrap, and that's uh, marked with a middle marker. Uh, I'm going to pop that high up on my chest, grip it with my chin, because that's what works for me, and I'm going to take it round my back, holding the top edge, and bring that over my shoulder, gathering it up as I go, so it's all over the top. I'm going to do exactly the same with the other side, take it over my shoulder, and gather it up. So I've got two dangly bits and a cross pass, and I'm going to just bring it up a bit, it's a little bit loose at the bottom there, and this is the patch where my baby goes. So I'm going to grab my baby next, here he is, so pop baby to my shoulder, and I'm going to open up the pouch and guide baby's legs into it. So, baby goes down to the patch uh, with his head uh, arriving just under my chin at the, on the hard bit of my chest. And get his feet out. I'm going to tuck his arms up near his face. Baby's newborns like to have their arms near their face. And I'm going to get this top edge and take it up so it goes just over the top of his head and bring it back down again. I'm going to straighten that out and gather it up into a sort of rope of cloth um, in about knee pit level. So supporting my baby, I'm going to take all of the cloth one side here and I'm going to pull it in the direction from where it's come from. So carry on the cross, pull it until it tightens. Now, keeping the tension, I'm going to hold it down by the side and I'm going to do the same again on the other side. So gather the cloth in my hand, give it a good, strong pull in the direction that it's come from, and then keeping that tension, bringing it back down along the side of baby. I, I want this carry to be um, very snug for a newborn. I don't want my baby to be able to slump down in the wrap, so I need to make sure it's nice and tight, particularly at the top here. So feeling it there, and any slack I can take towards one side, take it towards the armpit, and I pull the corresponding edge, which is this one here, and that will tighten that area up. So I've got a nice snug carry. So with that in place, I'm going to take this side, I'm going to take it down the side of my baby, and I'm going to bring it under by the knee pit and around and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Bring it down into baby's knee pit and I'm going to create a cross at the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a little twist and another and that takes that cloth away from baby's legs. I'm going to take it around to the back and tie it in a nice and snug double knot. So coming back to my baby, first thing I need to check now that baby's in is can they breathe? So my baby's face is not covered, their chin is up and extended, not tucked down. Um, I can check if the carry is tight enough by putting my hand behind baby's head, leaning forward. If baby doesn't come away from me, if their body is nice and snuggly against mine, I know that that carry is tight enough and that my baby can't slump down in the carrier. So the next thing I do is I will feel down my baby's back, check it's all nice and smooth. And then with a newborn, we want to help them keep the position that they like to be held in. So that's a really curled up position. The lowest point on their body is their tailbone, uh, with the knees, knees a little bit higher up and together. So I'm just going to help my baby with that position. I'm just going to tuck that right under the knees. So the knees are sort of digging into the top of my tummy and the, the bum bone is down. The tailbone, sorry. And I'm just going to check that all feels all right. And yeah, so I'm happy with that. My baby is carried nice and high, nice and tight. They're close enough to kiss. 
supported in an ergonomic position and um, nice and happy and snug there. So thank you.